Now we got a massive feature here for you. On the pole is going to be the 05 of Randy Ecker, Race Fisher in the 15 to the outside of him. Joe Bellum and Brian Lessig make up your second row. They're followed by Phil Reed, Cameron O'Lear, then Ryan O'Lear, Austin Rhodes, Alan Green, Mike Puckett. Here we go, Randy Ecker, let him hear you sing, big boy. Randy Ecker ripping and roaring through one and two. He's going to boogie down that back straight. Bellum glued to his bumper. Race Fisher on the high side out there with Lessig and Phil Reed in tow. They're going to put on the brakes through one and two, and Randy Ecker is going to lead lap one. Joe Bellum settles into second. He's looking high and low. Joe's going to work him. You know Joe is ready for revenge after Randy drove him up the track. Joe's going to let this one go for a little while, I have a feeling, though. Randy is going to come out of turn four here. No tap from Bellum yet. You know Joe Bellum's waiting for his perfect moment. Then he's going to unleash it. He's just going to go around the outside of him here. Let's see if Joe can get him. Pure speed, pure power. They're running up on lap traffic. This is going to make it interesting. Joe's working the high side. Little tap from Ecker, and Joe's just going to clean it out. Joe Bellum up into the first. Randy right behind him, though. Randy dives down to the inside. Randy's got the low lane. The low line is the lane to be in in this track here tonight. Randy Ecker going to switch him back. Puts the rear end in the door, and Randy's got the lead back from Joe. It's going to be a battle. This is going to be a boxing match, a duel. It's going to be a knock him out, drag him out here between Ecker and Bellum to lead it here tonight. Randy Ecker, if I can remind you, ran Joe Bellum up the track in turn four on the last lap to finish the heat race. So you know Joe is... He's out for revenge. He's dead set on it. Cameron O'Lear goes sideways coming out of four. Randy Ecker still leading Joe. They're followed by Brian Lessig. Then it's Race Fisher. And oh, Phil Reed, contact. He's down to the inside. He'll keep it straight, though. Wheels turning for Phil Reed as Ecker comes out of turn four. Bellum right behind him. I'm just waiting for the move. I don't think Joe's going to necessarily dump Randy Ecker, but I know Joe's going to give him the contact. He's going to give him the body, but Randy Ecker's running away. He's trying to make it so Joe doesn't even have a chance to touch him. There goes Randy down the front straight on the boogie pad. He's giving the right stick to thump to the floor and getting on the juice down the back straight. The 05 is digging, digging, digging through three and four now. Joe Bellum trying to catch up to him. Then it's Brian Lessig, Race Fisher, and it's Ryan battling his brother Cameron O'Lear for the fifth spot through three and four. The 16 RNC are door to door coming to the sticks, and it's going to be Cameron at the line. Joe Bellum and Randy Ecker still fighting for the lead, but Randy's got about a four car length on him now. Four car, le four car length lead, excuse me. Randy Ecker turning and burning. He's trying to keep it so Joe has no chance to contact him, no chance to exact his revenge. Randy Ecker wants to pick up the main. Joe in second. Lessig still doing a good job of holding off. Race Fisher for third, and O'Lear brothers have separated a bit. They've got Rhodes in the middle now. Zachary Rhodes sitting in, I believe, six. Yes, he's sitting in six, outside looking in. Ryan O'Lear's worked up into fifth in the 16 car, but Randy Ecker's down that back straight into three and four now. He's still got a good lead on Bellum. Halfway point is passed. Randy in the 05 is digging, man. He's hitting his marks, he's hitting his spots. He hasn't missed a single line yet. He's digging down on the low side, Oof, right below the lap traffic of the 19K there. Randy Ecker coming out of four, sends the mud a mile high, and he's burgeoning down the front straight. The 05 is leading it. Joe Bellum trying to play catch up here. Then it's Brian Lessig and Race Fisher still followed by Ryan O'Lear, excuse me. I know it's single file spread out racing, but if Randy Ecker missed any point, if he missed one of his entrances, one of his exits, missed one of his marks, he would have Bellum smeared all over his bumper in a heartbeat. Oh, Joe is going three to the ground, one waving like he's doing the salute coming out of two. Joe Bellum is on the gas. He's like the little gas monkey coming out of four, one high in the sky. Joe Bellum trying to show him what he's made of here tonight. He wants to play catch up and he's gonna play it. He's gonna get up to Randy here. Ryan O'Lear did a great job of passing Race Fisher. Ryan, uh, Ryan O'Lear is up into third now. Excuse me, yes, fourth, 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 sorry. Ryan O'Lear battling for third with Brian Lessig as they come out of turn four here. Brian Lessig in the 41, but Joe Bellum has caught Randy Ecker going down the back straight. Five to go. 
five to go. This will be four this time by. Randy Ecker made a mistake. He let Joe catch up to him. He's got to keep on the go juice. Oh, here comes Bellum on the inside. Like I said, one mistake and it's all over. Joe Bellum waited for the perfect moment and he found it. He exacted his revenge. Uh-oh, here comes Ecker. Looks like Joe Bella might have popped the tire. He doesn't have full grip right now. He's coming around here. Yes, he did. Joe Bellum's got a flat back right. Joe Bellum's got a flat back right, and he's done. Joe Bellum's ship is sunk tonight. What a great race from Joe. He found the moment to his act as his revenge, and he did it exactly then. Joe had passed Randy, but in the kerfuffle, in the contact, had his back right tire popped on some of Randy's sheet metal, and he is done. He's still racing out there and finishing, but he's doing all he can to hold on to second right now as Brian Lessig and Ryan O'Lear close in on him. Randy Ecker running away. The 05 is going to take it easy with a one lap left to go. Big contact between O'Lear and Lessig through one and two. Or excuse me, three and four. Joe Bellum, uh-oh, he's about to lose a spot to Lessig. Let's see if he can hold on. Randy Ecker takes the checkered. Here comes Lessig and he'll get the pass. Brian Lessig gonna take second from Bellum. Ryan O'Lear trying to do the same, and he won't. He was not, oh, big contact. Didn't make it happen, though. Joe Bellum on a flat tire, races three laps, four laps completely flat. He's able to hold on to third. But your winner tonight is Randy Ecker, followed by Brian Lessig, Joe Bellum, and then rounding out your top five, the Calhan man, Ryan O'Lear. Great racing by Joe. Missing a tire and all. Came around to pick up the third place.